So project I did a new multi output DC DC converter for electrical vehicle applications. So in this project we are using as an application as a EV application. So for this EV application you can charge the batteries with the help of the new multi output DC DC converters, right? So in our project, so basically previously we are using a single input and multi output, right? So SIM board. We are using the single input and multi output converters. But these type of configurations, we are uh, generating the outputs of the operating constraints on the uh, different uh, duty ratio and charging of the inductors, right? We are facing uh, different, different problems. These uh, problems, these cross-regulation problems will be mainly issues, uh, different, different output efficiency of the system. So to overcome this type of design, we are using our proposed topology, right? This uh, single input and multi output should be remodified. So basically, the old conventional design will be using basically concept, but the basically concept will be removed with the advanced designing. We get the so many advantages when compared to existing system, right? So basically, so this is the old system we are using, the conventional single input or multi output. So for this, we are using the voltages and a different controlling strategies is not possible. But in our proposal system, we are using this type of system, right? So for this condition, we have the different different advantages. So we can get the output voltage as a positive. When compared to conventional uh, design, we are getting the output as a negative value, right? And also we are using the inverter circuit without any helpful. And also we are using the loads that should be isolated and also the proper controlling techniques, right? So this is the switching stages. We are operating the one and two. And also these conditions will be applied at a different DC voltages should be sudden changes, right? You can observe the waveform. So this is the DC voltage. So initially the DC voltage is 50. After the certain time, the voltage will be increased. So for this condition, we can maintain the constant output voltages across the system, right? So this is the way we can implement it in our project. This circuit will be designed in a MATLAB like this, okay? So for the DC source, we are applying the conditions, right? The step voltages. So initially the voltages will be 50 volts and after some seconds, the 50 volts will be increased to up to 100 volts. These two switches will be activated according to the condition, right? After the condition will be applied with a proper gate pulses, we are giving the system thyristor switching, right? So proper controlling, proper designing process, we get the proper output voltages. So after completion of running, so just open the circuit, just auto scale, you are getting the DC voltage like this. Initially zero to some settings, 50 voltage will be present. After the 50, we will be decreased to 75 voltages, right? So these are the different, different voltages across the measure in the circuit. So according to our concept, you can measure different, different voltages like this, okay? So we are using the concepts of different, different voltages, V01, V03 and V02, different, different loads. We are using three loads, this is two loads, R1, R2 and R3. So for the R1, V01, R2, V02, R3 and V03, right? So these three voltages will be measured like this, right? This is the first voltage. So this voltage will be measured and second R resistor load, this voltage will be measured and third resistor load, we can measure the three voltages. And also from the DC source, I'm taking the direct voltages, right? These four waveforms will be presented like this. Okay. So these are the voltages and also the currents will be different, different conditions. According to the inductor currents, we get the different, different waveforms, right? So this is the diode currents. This is the diode currents. And this is the inductor. After the inductor, the water, the currents will be flow. So these are the capacitor, capacitor currents. So this is the way we can measure the voltages and currents according to our concept. Okay.